for day five. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. As you know, this is a collaboration between myself and the beautiful, lovely lady over at the Dormouse's desk. So be sure to check her link down in the description box below. And let's jump into the ink. So I've got my ink bowl here. We're starting to get low. Which one am I going to choose today? Oh, the pressure. I'm feeling this one. Let's open and see what we get. Birmingham Pen Company Antique Sepia. I have never used this brand of ink before. And sepia, love, love, love sepia. So I am excited to swatch this out. Um, we are going to use our uh, coloring swatch cards here. And look at this. Now, I it's a seems a little bit more green than I typically think of sepia. I think of sepia as kind of like that brownish sort of vintage antique uh, photo look. Um, but yeah, it'll be really cool to see how it dries. It's already kind of pulling apart and I'm seeing some um, chromatic coloring effects here. So that is going to be really cool. Let's go ahead and uh, set this off to the side. I'm going to pick it up. You can see little bits of kind of pinkish brown. So hello. Yes, I am so excited for this one. Let's grab our Nemesin pad here and just pop on a little swatch. We've got a lovely pooling there. And yeah, again, it's kind of already... Um, having that chromatic effect, some of that kind of pinkish color coming through. So this is going to be a fun one to see how it dries. Here it is on the Rhodia. There we go. And then, of course, lastly, we'll pull out the Tomoa River 52 GSM and just throw a little of the ink on there. And then we'll go ahead and wait for this to dry and see what we come back with. All right, so here we are, we are back. And look at this, we've got some deep green shading. We have hints of like a pinkish color in there, um, a little bit of blue. It doesn't really look brownish to me per se, but kind of those pinky areas do have a little bit of brown in them. Now, I totally forgot to film this part, so I already did the next day. So I'm trying to cover things up and be as sly as I can. But here it is on the Nemesin. Let me cover that up. So no peaks. Um, it did bleed through, but again, I put it on heavy. Lots of shading, very beautiful coloring. Here it is on the Rhodia. You can see bits of the kind of pinkish brown in there. Uh, which is absolutely lovely. Lots of shading, so that'll be a fun one as well. And then lastly, we've got our Tomoa River here, and it's a, a bit lighter on this paper. I can't flip it over because it will reveal um, the next couple days, so I definitely don't want to do that. Uh, but yeah, so there we go. You can kind of see there, and this is going to be a fun one to play with. Let's pull out that chromatography and see what we've got. All right, close up, green, and pink. There we go. That is pretty much the full combo. Um, so yeah, I'm going to grab my water, some paint brushes, and we're going to jump right into the painting today. So I thought it might be fun to do a bit of a portrait. I pre-sketched um, onto my pad and I'm putting a border around the outside. And then I'm going to throw on some music and just play. So please enjoy the video. I'll check back with you at the end. Nine, I still wish you were mine. 
done here we are our finished piece i am loving the background there is um so much uh, shading in there it gives it texture and flow which is really really cool it's amazing to me that this is just one ink but you're getting a, a hints of green blue 
um, and then also that kind of pinkish color. Let's pull out that uh, chromatography. Let me grab it here. Where did I put it? Um, there we go. So yeah, so you can see where the greens are pulling in within the face when you really kind of pulled back the ink when you uh, dabbed it off. You're getting those pinks, some of the greens there, um, and then you have that dark background. Um, this was such a fun portrait to paint today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the description box below. Be sure to pop on over to the Dormouse's desk and see what ink that she played with today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, until we paint again, happy creating.